Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's been a long time, guys. Been a long time. Yeah, Jan January 2021. So, well, February 1st, 2021. But yeah, it's oh, been a um a long road. But yeah, so let's let's check this out. Um, so we're gonna be doing text input on the third section, um, of HTML forms. All right, and let's just get this started. Let's get going. Um, HTML forms, text input. If you want to create an input field in our form, we'll need the help of an input element. The input element has a type of attribute which determines how it renders on the web page and what kind of data it can accept. The first value for the type attribute we're going to explore is text. When we create an input element with type text, it renders a text field that users can type into. It's also important that we include a name attribute for the input without the name attribute. Information in the input won't be sent when the form is submitted. We'll explain more about submissions and the submit button in a later exercise. For now, let's examine the following code that produces a text put text input field. So this says form action example method post input type text name first text field. Closing out with the form. Here's a screenshot of how the rendered form looks like on a web page for the Chrome browser. Different browsers have different default rendering. When initially loaded, it can be an empty box. So this is an empty box here. After you just type in the input element, the value of the value attribute becomes what is typed into the text field. The value of the value attribute is paired with the value of the name attribute and sent as text when the form is submitted. For instance, if a user typed in important details in the text field create, created by our input element, and we got important details here, when the form is submitted, the text first text field important details is sent to the forward slash example HTML because the value of the name attribute is first text field and the value of the value is important details. We could also assign a default value for the name for the value attribute so that users have a pre-filled text field when they see the rendered form like so. For, so this is the text right here, the code. Form action example method post input type name first text field value already pre-filled form. So this, what this does, it renders already pre-filled. Time to put this knowledge into practice. All right, let's get started, guys. So it says, let's start with creating a login form for our users. Inside the provided form element, add an input element with a type of attribute of text. I'll just go right here and make an input type equals text. Okay. Let's run that. Perfect. E even though we're not submitting the form, let's develop some good habits by giving the input a name attribute with a value of username. Okay. So let's put uh, the value username. Username. Bingo. Okay. Let's run that. Okay. Username. Okay, we need to do ID. Make it an ID. Oh, sorry. I gotta do equals. Okay, value name. So input name. Oh, I'm missing the name. Missing the name equals. 
Okay, the name, username, ID there, okay. Giving them, okay. Let's see what hap let's see what happens if we add a value with the name Dave. Oh, let's see. So let's put value equals Davy. Let's just fix this up. Uh, value equals uh can we expand this there we go that looks much better value equals baby Why is it doing that? Hey, Davy, and then we got to close the bracket, and then we run it. Oh, nice. See, see what happens. Davy's in there. So, okay. Um. So yeah, we just learned how to do the text input in this um, video in HTML forms. Um, text input. Yeah, um, hope you guys are doing good out there, and um, hope you guys are staying safe. You know, hopefully this year will be a very awesome year. Um, and yeah, you guys make sure you don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we're gonna do some more coding videos. Can't wait. Um, and take care. Bye bye.